Nuggets, welcome to this week where we are looking at area. Last week we talked about perimeter. This week is area. For area, we are multiplying the length times the width. So a lot of multiplication here. So for this first one, we are doing 15 times 5, which gives us 75 meters. Over here, 12 times 3 gives us 36 inches. Here, four centimeters, but it's a square. Just because it's not labeled doesn't mean I don't have the, me the measure. 16 centimeters. Again, it's a square, so all sides are the same. 36 feet. Down here, nine times two is 18 millimeters. And eight times 20, eight times two is 16. Add your zero, 160 yards. Any questions, bring them with you to class. All right, for this one, we had to find the missing length. So 12 times what gives me 144? 12 times 12. Three times what gives me 39? If you can't think of it, you can do the division. And I would get 13. Here, 72 divided by six. It's gonna give me a missing piece of 12. 20 divided by 10, missing piece of two. 64 divided by four, missing piece of 16. 25 divided by five, missing piece of five. Questions on these, as always, bring them to class. All right, looking at it as a word problem. It says that the area of a computer screen is 408 inches squared. If the height is 17, how wide is the screen? So we need to do division. 408 divided by 17 gives us a missing piece of 24. Houston is helping his grandfather with planting for spring. What is the area of the garden if it measures 11 by 12? If we do 11 times 12, we get 132 feet squared. A card is two centimeters and a total of 44 centimeters squared. What is the length? The length is 22 centimeters. 22 times two gives us 44. A window is 10 by 25. What is the area? 250 yards squared, 25 times 10. A swimming pool cover is 13 meters long and has an area of 200 and meters, 208 meters squared. So for this one, we're doing 208 divided by 13. We're missing 16 meters. A box is 17 by 21. And I wanna know the area. 17 times 21 gives me an area of 357 millimeters squared. If you have questions on these, go ahead and bring them with you to class. This time I put some shapes together. So we had to use what we know. We have a square, which is eight and eight is 64. This is five and three is 15. So if we add our two pieces together, our total is 79 millimeters squared. Over here, six and four is 24. 10 and four is 40. Add them together, 64 centimeters squared. Coming down here, five and five is 25. Eight and four is 32 for a total of 57 feet squared. 10 and six is 64 and four is 16 for a total of 76 meters squared. Nine and eight is 72. Nine and eight is 72. 72 and 72 is 144 yards squared. Eight and three is 24. Nine and three is 27. 27 and 24 give us a total of 51 inches squared. Oh, and that is the end of that page. That one went quick. Any questions, bring them to class. This time, you have to determine the shaded area. So you need to figure out how much is shaded, how much is not, and subtract them. So eight and eight is 64, seven and three is 21, subtracting because this inside piece does not count. Total shaded is 43 feet. Here, our shaded is 20, but the blank in the middle is four. So 16 centimeters is shaded. 
Shaded is 60, but inside is 27. So when we take away the 27 that is not shaded, we have 33 inches squared. Shaded is 56, not shaded is 16. So when we take away the 16 that's not shaded, we have 40 meters squared. Here we have 49 shaded, 18 not. When we take away the part that's not shaded, we have 31 millimeters squared. And, excuse me, last one, shaded is 81, not shaded is 64. Taking away the not shaded, we have 17 yards squared shaded. If you have questions, bring in the class. Have a good week.